I'm Steve Wallace, uh, Vice President of Marketing here at the uh, Toronto 2015 Pan Am and Para Pan Am Games. Part of the fun part that we get to do in marketing for the Pan Am Games is we get to help to create the mascot. That's awesome. That's incredible. So every day we get the mail to come in and we uh, get to go through it. And today brought about nine people together to bring in the mail, go through the mail, and look at all the amazing mascots that were created by Canadian. Went through kind of the rules and, and all the different elements that we're looking for and the best mascot for the games. So as you remember, spirit and values of Toronto 2015 original and representative of our brand. And then one by one, we opened up each envelope. Mississauga. Whip, whippy. Look at this whippy. one. This one's going to have Richmond oh, Hill. Oh. Hamilton. I got St. Jerome, Quebec. Oh, that one is well. Toronto. Told the story, showed the mascots to everyone, and, and got everyone's reaction, which is always a fun thing. So it's Alex the Beaver. Very appropriate. Hi, my name is Alex. One day I was building my dam and I heard cheering fans. So like any normal beaver, I walked over to hear what all the commotion was coming from. I saw the Blue Jays playing right then and there and I fell in love with them. Maple loves to fly, travel and explore new and in different places. Some hobbies that this colorful parrot loves are drawing and playing sports. And his tail, I, you noticed his tail. So his tail is very colorful and it actually represents the 41 Pan Am countries competing in the game. So the nine of us went through them, but then we wanted to bring in some experts, so we brought a bunch of kids in, and they gave us their, uh, their opinions on it and feedback, which is always wonderful, because at, at the end of the day, the mascots are really going to live in the eyes of the kids. Why do you like that one? It's, it's really the colorful. colorful. The colors, yeah. He has boxing gloves on, which is yeah. pretty cool. Uh, I was here hanging out with some of the kids, showing off my medal, uh, did a couple flips for them, and we were just uh, having a good time. Okay. And uh, yeah, we were just trying to figure out what the mascot for TO 2015 is going to be. So we brought in some of Toronto's great mascots uh, for the professional and, and amateur teams and university teams across Toronto and they all surprised the kids and gave them high fives and they absolutely went crazy. So we're excited about what the Pan Am games are going to bring and the Para Pan Am games are going to bring and what the mascot for our games are going to be and the excitement that was in the kids faces when they saw all these other mascots, all the mascot friends come in to greet them. So the one fun thing about mascots is they end up taking over. They took over a few offices of the, some of our workers here at Toronto 2015, and as well as I think they trashed one of our boardrooms, uh, they gave us their own opinions on the mascot, because of course they're a little bit biased, because they want themselves to be uh, the center of attention. And uh, so, but we all took it in fun, and it was fabulous to have, uh, have the mascots here in the, in the Toronto 2015 offices. The core group got back together, and we sealed the door in our little mascot conclave and we decided that we would go through the mascots one by one, take all the feedback, and we'll let you know how the top six look.